hey i'm not a music director but i can assure you that i created this music using a new model from google deepmind called magenta this is a new model that has been created for creating music a real time streaming music generation so if you want to do like funky things like this then you can easily do it and you can run it on free google collab i'm going to show you how to do that but before we do that i want to just tell you that this is just 800 million i should i should stop this probably i should stop this and then talk and i just wanted to highlight that i'm a music director okay this is an 800 million parameter model we have been always told that we need larger size model but i think there is like something happening like an inflection point where people started focusing on smaller size models it's not just about the discussion about size anymore it's about what the model can produce and in that series this is a magenta this model is called magenta it is designed for real time music generation it is from google deepmind it comes with a decent license cc by 4.0 license this is an open wait it's available on a hugging face you can go download it i i can't wait to see people building applications on top of it that will make like a garage band but uh, instead of using garage band like an app on ios or ipad but you use ai to create this and it's it's quite extraordinary to be honest so i can just go here and then start this like for example let me start this and you can see i've got like the three different flavors i don't know what is it called styles synth wave flamenco guitar drums and i've got like synth wave to the maximum i'm going to just like um remove synth wave completely and then it will take some time you can see i've got the guitar and drums probably a terrible combination i would say so i'm going to change drums into disco funk and uh, and this is real time see i'm not like other than changing this i'm not doing any change it's just like guitar disco funk and uh, i don't know if jazz is called a music style my music knowledge is quite terrible except that i know that hans zimmer is a great musician um if everything else i know is like zero almost like negligible so why not jazz guitar disco funk and you can see how the music has changed you've got the slider you can play with that there are like a lot of other things that you can play with that but with the minimal amount of music knowledge that i have got all i know is to add prompt and then you know play with the slider and then okay say okay cool i've created this and this is real time music generation running on google collab notebook it's quite astonishing the fact that this is an 800 million parameter model and this is the output that we are getting out of it it's it's impressive like at least for me it is super 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 impressive i don't think it can do stuff like so no it it's not like you can give a concept it can create songs but as a dj ai powered dj you can probably use this now i'm going to stop this and then we are going to just quickly head back into what google is saying so it's called magenta rt magenta real time and uh, they're calling this research preview but um, it's it's an open weight cousin of lyria this is another model that google has got i think that goes inside a uh, flow which is uh, which is the system that uh, google has got for creative suit more like an adobe suit but for ai so they've got a vo inside it they've got a bunch of audio system inside it so this is uh, basically for djing mostly like real time live music exploration and generation it runs on google collab but the catch here is that it runs on google collab tpu the tensor processing unit which is proprietary for google not the general gpu so generally if somebody says like oh this is a demo that runs on google collab you would assume that this runs on t4 machine which uh, is an nvidia machine but in this case it's not the case so the, the it, even though it runs on google collab it doesn't mean that you can just download the notebook and run it on locally so if anybody says that i can run this on local machine then they might have to had to change like weights move should, should have moved the weights uh the open weights and then done it uh, so i don't think it's uh, fairly straight forward at this point to run this locally uh, maybe like it's possible so it says like how it works so they generate a smaller chunk of audios and then they generate the next clip and then they combine it. there is like information about latent exploration latent exploration is is this models creative space like the memory space and how you you are dealing with this thing It was a quite popular concept uh, during stable diffusion times. Overall, this is a great model. If you want to run this model, all you have to do is open this Google Collab notebook. I'll link it in the YouTube description. Go click Run All. So this would take like the first time. This one time setup would take quite a bit of time. And once that is done, an error would pop up. It would say that you have to restart your runtime. So you can go runtime here and then just restart the session. Or there'll be a button to restart the runtime. Once you do that, then you have to run this particular cell. which will again take like 5 minutes to overall like the startup time is like let's say 10 minutes approximately and once you do that once you restart the session and then you restart this 
then you have this option that you start and then you have got this now with this you can play with a lot of different things uh, so for example uh, so i can just remove this i can remove this i can remove this i can just keep jazz okay at this point i don't have any other style here i've got the jazz and i've got jazz at the top this is jazz okay and uh, i am slowly going to introduce maybe disco funk that's it i've not done anything you can see my fingers here jazz plus disco funk maybe now i think the disco funk is too much so i can reduce it jazz but somewhere in the background disco funk is there it's blending so maybe i'm like okay maybe this should be less this should be more now you can add it there you can see it changing so i can just go ahead and then say synth wave somewhere in the background i don't know if it does flute so they said mostly it is based on western music so i don't know if western music has got flute in it so okay this like i said my music knowledge is quite bad i used to think only indians do flute so there is western flute as well and um, yeah so there are like bunch of things that you can go play with it here and then it can do so google also has put in the effort to show what is happening under the hood so they show that they are generating the 2 second audio the clip and they generate the longer sequence by concatenating like uh, stitching the sequences together they've got a, a whole concept of how you can learn how this everything is happening like for example what is happening in the embedding space the latent space how the interpolation of music genre is happening how they are using crossfade to combine one with another so if you are like a deep learning uh, nerd with music interest then you should go back and check all the codes but if you are like me who just wants to like see how what kind of music you know your brain has taste to create then uh, you can just go here and then do this thing i don't know how uh, this video will have my voice and then the background music also like i don't know if it is going to be annoying if it is annoying my apologies i'm going to stop it at this particular point and then say that google has certain guidelines so one um, the code base comes with apache 2.0 license that means you can do anything with that the creative common 4. Uh, cc by 4.0 license uh, the model weights now there are like certain responsibilities google is saying you have to use it like responsibly uh, that doesn't uh, infringe copyrights and other things i don't know how you can infringe rights of others uh, by using something that randomly puts together like four different tools and then does it so it's like garage band but uh, you know it's it's stochastic it's random so i don't know i don't know how you can violate somebody's rights but um, maybe you can violate rights i don't know but overall i think this is an excellent release i would love to see smaller models that can do things niche things like this there are like a lot of great models coming if you want to keep yourself updated with the latest ai models uh, click the subscribe button and <laughs> i don't like the button see you in another video happy prompting